So I gotta tell you guys my story of good customer service. As I was reviewing the wrap that I told you guys about, it turns out that I had ordered the chicken sausage again to, I'm trying to get swole, increase my protein gain. But when I went to eat it, I realized that they gave me only one patty instead of two. So I call and I'm like, hey, um, I had an online order that I just picked up and I have a question about one of your menu items. I ordered the chicken sausage and I was expecting for there to be two patties. I believe I paid around $5 for that side. How does that work? And he said, well, uh, if it's part of your, I guess, meal, you only get one. But if you buy it separately, that's when you get two. And then that's when I said, I swear that I bought it as a separate side under the side section. And I remembered that it was around $5. And he said, all right, that definitely sounds like you should have gotten two. What was your order? So then I told him and then he said, oh, yeah, we totally messed that up for you. Sorry about that. For the inconvenience, how would you like us to rectify it? Would you like a partial refund? Would you like to come get it? And I said, honestly, I can go get it in about 10 minutes because I'm really close by and I really needed it as part of a little meal idea, meal plan that I have. And then he said to come by and he'll have that ready. Then they ended up uh, giving me the extra one, which I didn't ask for. And what's funny is that before hanging up, he asked me, is there anything else that you would like? Because uh, we feel really bad about messing up and inconveniencing you. And I said, no, I just don't know when I'll be back. And that's why I don't want to say that I'll come by tomorrow, like you're offering to go get it. Um, ideally, I need it today. So give me about 10 minutes and I can be there. And he said, uh, yeah, um, no problem. And then I pick it up now. And then I noticed that they gave me two. So yay, I'm happy. Because I think this is one of my favorite menu items. And you guys know how I said that I'm looking for extra protein. I thought, I don't like to take advantage, especially of small businesses. But now I'm feeling a little bit of regret that I should have gotten an extra patty. I should have been like, well, would you mind sliding another extra patty in there? I need the protein. <laughs> but I didn't have to ask for it. It just happened. So stuff like that is what makes me believe in like religious interventions. Because like I said, I thought about it. I didn't ask for it, but here I got it. And you might say that, well, it's natural that they're going to give you the whole thing back if they messed it up. But I'm like, it's about what we agreed on. I was coming in here expecting one, but I got two. So to me, that's what lets me know that if you remain chill and calm, they work with you. When I was on the phone, I wish I would have recorded my conversation, but it legit went down as I'm telling you. I was like, yeah, I just have a question about one of your menu items. I order this somewhat frequently. And based on the way that I order it online, I was expecting two. But if it changed, I'm not upset or anything. It's just I, I'm trying to understand uh, what I did wrong. You know, like I made it sound like it was my fault and I wasn't trying to be overly dramatic or anything. So yeah, if you treat customer service people nicely, I promise you, they'll take care of you. And sometimes they'll even help you in ways that you don't even ask, but you still appreciate. I'm not saying that you have to be nice and therefore that entitles you to nice things, nothing like that. But I'm just saying that if you communicate your intentions properly, then people want to work with you. They truly do. And I say that because I am that way at customer service. It's just something that is born within us. And I remember when they handed me my order, they were apologizing profusely still. And I'm like, no problem. No problem. Like I came back, you guys fixed it for me. I'm good. And then when I opened up the container, I said to myself, it feels a little heavier than what I expected based on the one that I just handled with the single patty. And then I thought, maybe it's just my imagination wanting to feel that there's two of them and it's the old memory of me feeling both patties before. <laughs> but now when I saw it, 
I thought, what a pleasant surprise. See what I mean? You don't have to be dramatic. You don't have to be like, I just drove 30 minutes away and came back, even though you picked up your order like 10 minutes ago and you're back after another 10 minutes. You're telling me you did it an hour round trip in 20 minutes, like, please. You know, nothing dramatic. Tell them the truth. Don't be accusatory. Just be like, hey, um, I'm trying to understand what happened. That's it. My lower back is still on fire, but I want to share with you guys the story of good customer service that I got also today at Walmart. And I'm going to summon the power of my will to get up and show you guys. It's a story worthy of telling because it's a positive one. Isn't it crazy how your body goes from working just normal to just not working normal so when i went to walmart i needed one thing detergent but then i decided that while i'm there i'm going to pick up that salad that i said i was gonna have so that's an extra item i'm up to two items no biggie then i decide that i'm going to buy another water bottle because i've been running out of them a little quicker than i thought and it's not necessarily because I'm drinking it, it's because I'm fucking spilling it. You guys remember my story of the water that leaked onto my car seat? Well, that was pretty much three-fourths of one bottle that I lost right there that I hadn't replaced since that happened. So anyway, I'm at Walmart and then on top of that, I say, right, this morning when I went to the bathroom to replace a roll of toilet paper, I noticed that I'm down to the last row of paper from the giant case that I buy. So I said, all right, let's go pick that up while I'm here. That's four items. The detergent is what I came in for. Toilet paper technically is an extension of something I came in for. Water, always gonna need it. And then the salad. These were awkward items to carry because you guys know me. I never use shopping carts nor baskets. So let me show you what I looked like. As soon as I walked into this Walmart, produce was to my right. So I grabbed this. The water aisle is directly across from the front door that I came through. So after picking up my salad, I turned around to go down the water aisle and I grabbed this. This is the big bottle of this version of water. So this is the two items I have on my hand. Now I'm gonna go get the toilet paper. When I got the toilet paper, I had to sit my stuff down on one of the shelves so that I could grab my water bottle like this, the salad like this, and then this like this under my arm. So then I said, all right, time to get the detergent. So now I'm going to go get the detergent. Now I grab this detergent, which was about belly level on the shelf. So now I'm trying to scramble and figure out how I'm going to carry all those four items. What I ended up doing was I was trying to use this as kind of a tray and then have my water like this. But unfortunately, this water slips very easy. And then I was trying to carry the detergent with my right hand, but I couldn't do that because my lower back is hurting as bad as it is. So what I end up doing is I have this jacket. I had my keys and something else in my pocket. I don't remember what it was. Uh, oh, my phone. Fortunately, today I'm wearing sweatpants that actually have pockets on the side because you guys know that I'm a leggings person. I empty my kangaroo pockets on my hoodie and then I risk being accused of theft by sliding this inside my kangaroo pocket. And then that's when I grab the paper and then the salad. Actually, I was carrying the paper like this. And then I had the salad like this. And then I was carrying this like that. And then I can't show you guys my water, but you just have to trust me that my water is right there on my kangaroo pockets. 
And when I make it to self-checkout, the lady, older lady with a cane, super, super sweet, she's like, oh my goodness, it looks very awkward for you to carry all that. Would you like a buggy? And I said, no, nah, no, nah, I am going to take the punishment because this is usually how I do it. I planned this absolutely terribly. As I was shopping, I remembered other things that I should consider to pick up while I'm here because I don't like to go to the store more than once a week. It's a waste for me. So this is totally my fault. I'll figure this out. And then when I make it to self-checkout, I noticed that this right here, it looked like it was spilling because it had like a dried detergent residue crust looking thing. So then I unscrew the cap and the lady is like, is it leaking? And then I said, possibly, because it looks like a dried up detergent surrounding the little mouthpiece here. And then she was like, yeah, I agree. Let me take that off your hands and set it aside do you mind grabbing another one? And I'm like, of course not. I'll be right back. And then she was like, all right, take your time. But you guys know me. I'm a speed walker. And even with my back hurting, I still wanted to move at the pace that I'm used to. But uh, ultimately, it was so much better for me because I had to go back. And this time around, as I was carrying the detergent to make it lighter on my back, I was kind of like carrying it like this, kind of hugging it. And it's probably for the better because while carrying it i did experience some pain but the movement helped me feel a little better so yeah um that was the story of me receiving good customer service because the lady immediately noticed me she tried to take care of me she offered a tool for my comfort which i kindly declined and she also helped me get rid of an item that's potentially defective I had no idea that this was going to happen in my day. Like my topics today have been a little bit of a roller coaster. I talked about my pain, then I talked about a crazy driver, then I talked about food and how I liked it, and now I'm talking about good customer service. So it's a pretty good balanced day. And that's what I'm saying. There's an opportunity out there for you to make a connection. You gotta let it happen.